All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play, where we have probably committed to the largest scale war yet in the series. And uh, it's taking its toll on our economy. Uh, we had like damn near a thousand ducats at one point. Um, but of course it's worth. That is ultimately what the money is for, is enabling us to really uh, crack down upon these rivals, which uh, could, of course become a massive nuisance if we don't deal with them in the fashion that we are i mean of course the commonwealth once he gets his uh his national ideas and and uh unites lithuania give uh, therefore inheriting his states and so on with the same polish ideas he can be uh stronger than us really even though we're the emperor and uh, that is why i'm committing so hard and taking them out early and we're da doing a pretty damn good job of doing exactly that with our stack wipes and so on. Now, he has uh, reinforced massively, I've noticed, um, back up to uh, uh, a large amount of troops. However, he initially had this uh, equal, equal troops and we just smashed him. So I'm looking pretty confident here. We're progressing fairly well on Krakow and Warsaw. A Warsaw. <laughs> Just don't know how to pronounce anything. Uh, as a Polish uh, foreigner, you know, IRL, I would of course just always say Warsaw and Krakow for that matter. But somebody was... Uh, in my comments said, it's Krakow, you noob, everybody should know. Which uh, is pretty standard, actually, I should know, you're right, I'm wrong. Um, with that being said, randomly talking about that, uh, we made Pomerania the elector, of course, which I'm really satisfied about, because uh, now, longer he, now he will not leave the empire when he forms Prussia. And uh, it would be cool to see him form Prussia if he does. But either way, he's another member of the Empire, which hopefully will now uh, expand into Pomerania as they begin to decline, or Eastern Europe in general, Pomerania, into Poland, excuse me. Um, but we're actually acquiring his vote. He's friendly relations with us, and uh, yeah, without even improving relations at all. Maybe we did. Nope. They're just the bonus of friendly relations and uh, being... Uh, granted elector he's actually voting for us so we're killing it in terms of being elected it's just beautiful and of course it's only going to get easier when we pass this and get the additional diplo reputation uh let's make sure to develop our land by the way guys our army tradition is just killing it as well this is such a good game dude i love the hungary somebody uh commented in my prelude video that hungary is the best nation right now and uh, i don't have any um, I say any, I have very little experience playing Ming since they uh, buffed them in Mandate, where they seem absolutely ridiculously hilariously broken. Uh, and the guy was probably saying Hungary is the best, as in it's his preference. But I'm not going to lie, guys, I've put quite some thought into it. And um, yeah, I actually think Hungary, you know, I might, I'm perfectly willing to admit that I might be wrong. Because, like I said, my lack of experience playing Ming. But uh, in all seriousness, I think Hungary is probably the strongest nation right now. Like, I would go so far to say that. the uh, Everything that, that we've benefited from, like this uh, ruler, uh, the black army, the high army tradition, it can all be uh, replicated consistently. Of course, this opener, which is just kind of overkill, and that's what I'm attempting to abuse to uh, get this uh, achievement, um, one faith, but also a personal best of one tagging the world, um, that's a bit overkill and, and quite some difficulty to uh, become emperor and, and uh, reign in Italy. But uh, yeah, I mean, Hungary is just so boss. We're going to develop the heck out of our country. We're going to be very wealthy. We're just killing it on monarch points. I love it. I absolutely love it. And speaking of killing it on monarch points, we just got a, a very good <laughs> event. Um for like no reason so 200 200 military anybody we're actually ahead uh, behind in military compared to diplo uh but diplo development is really worth it the thing is the moral of armies modifier for five years um 
no, we're not going to go into the Ottomans in the next five years. I'm going to take the Diplo here because we've developed so much in military and uh, the Diplo is really, if we sit, how the, why are you, this event must have converted that to Orthodox, I didn't realize, shoot, that's annoying, um, Either way, these are uh, developing Diplo in these provinces here for f cheap, with uh, cloth is better than grain. These provinces are going to make a bunch of money for us, Hungarian culture now. Uh, in the future, if we build uh, textile manufactories and workshops, etc. So uh, that's why I chose Diplo there instead of military. We've already spent so much military developing, which allows us to develop to a higher capacity. Uh, with our other uh, points. All right, We've got the capital from Poland, so his his war exhaustion should start going through the roof, hopefully, and um, therefore we can piece him out with uh, not all that much war score. But obviously, at the very least, we want to break their alliance, and uh, I, I intend to give Bohemia some of this land. But you know what? If... if the alliance is the major thing, quite frankly. You know, I'd like to give them some land, but we've got plenty of favors already. If we go for a shorter truce timer, especially considering how expensive this war is, uh, that might be the way to go. But yeah, I mean, we're killing it at this rate. Let's, let's hang in there. He won't even take this 10% right now. So let's hang in there, get Krakow, and uh, some more land and hand it over to Bohemia. I mean, war reparations would serve us really well as well. Because we are poor. Go for the uh, annul, the war reparations. Wait, what the hell is exactly is going on? I hit in rivalry, I think, by mistake. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, and uh, give him some territory. Now, what was the plan? The plan was to use the CB to feed the Teutonic Order, which doesn't exist currently. Uh, I wonder if I released the Teutonic Order, if he would join the Empire. Probably would. Probably would. I don't know if he would, but he probably would. Um... Cost us 31 Diplo, that's very few. I think uh, I'm going to do that. It's a good way to weaken him. We've got Diplo coming out of, out of our ears. And uh, he might join the Empire if we're lucky. If an existential threat claims on him, he might join the Empire. Okay. Aragon's at 80%, and uh, France doesn't want to piece him out for 80%, really? We might find that uh, he becomes invalid for us after this war, Aragon. Now the stack wipe on 6k there, like it ain't no thing. Stack wipe into the left, stack wipe into the right. Dude, the other thing is we could vassalize Moldavia. If I siege his ca capital, I kind of like the thought of that as well. It will cost Diplo, but that's what our Diplo is for. Um, because the Ottomans could, like, the thing is, if we release Moldavia, they could expand into it before we can with our truce, but also, as Poland begins to decline, the Ottomans could expand into him in general, and that would be awful. So I think we might try to push here for vacillation of Moldavia here. Let's push for it. Oh, god dang it. I can't let him siege down Bohemia, though, for no reason. That ain't cool. The Poland. Denmark's in fine shape. Muscovy's fighting out around here. Brutal. Brutal warfare. This is a pretty brutal war, man. It's costed us a lot, like 80,000 manpower in combined with the Aragon War. So much manpower has been spent here. Of course, I didn't expect a sack wipe there, but still a nice decisive victory. I'll try to bail out. I'm going to consolidate our, our infantry as we go. Ah, Brandenburg will help us. 
surely we have tons of favors with him. Yes, we do. Let's call him in. Uh, I would actually prefer to feed Brandenburg than Bohemia. Um, so I will give the Saxon province to him. There's no no harm in doing that, and it gives him kind of a a broader a broader border with the uh, Polish. It would be nice to have two powers with Prussian ideas in the future. You, you feel me, guys? Two subjects. Of course, eventually, we're hoping that when we subjugate the Empire, that all of the Empire will be our subject. And uh, if we have Brandenburg and Pomeranian Prussia, that would be pretty sweet. Mostly for cool sakes. Obviously, we're not going to depend on our vassals necessarily. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and throw my two siege general on here. Yep, raise all taxes. And uh, hopefully, we can make short work of this fort. Once we get to Moldavia, we can see how much it costs to actually take his capital. Now, how's the enthusiasm on our side? We can reduce war exhaustion for cheap, and we got plenty of diplo. So we're high clear across the board. Uh, we should have plenty of time. Maybe, maybe at this rate, we might be able to separate piece this guy to break alliance with Poland. That would be cool. So that we don't need to spend the 10% on... Uh, the Polish uh, peace treaty. I will give the Polish cultured provinces to Bohemia because of course he partially accepts them. Saxon of course I'll give to the brand the beast and in the future we can give Pomerania the Prussian land. Now my units are split up and these guys do have a lot of troops so i got to keep an eye out. Let's not be too cocky. Master of Mint passes away. Um, we're doing good on inflation, though, nowadays. Aha! We're doing okay without this Diplo rep here. So, I'm going to skimp on that and go for tax. Most of our income is coming from our tax. And uh, our biggest drawback right now is our economy. So, let's grab some sweet tax there and we just got a tax advisor instead of inflation as well inflation still reducing due to the pope modifier um so the things are looking pretty good and combined with some looting and some uh war time taxes we're uh, making some profit for once in my life probably going to have a period of peace after this war or oh, well, i say peace um probably going to expand the heck out of bosnia but we're going to be able to uh, manage what the hell why you do this? Fine, I don't care. Just lose that battle. Doesn't bother me. Uh, what was I saying? I'm not going to manage so many troops after this war. Operate on fewer troops so that we uh, our economy can recover once again. And... Um, it's going to be so much easier to take out the Polish if they're not allied to the Danes, obviously. Especially because we have all these favors, you know, again. And uh, um, seems like Brandenburg will help us now going into the future. But yeah, gearing up, hopefully, for a big war against the Ottomans. Calling in the French, who we have uh, the favors. And hopefully, the fact he will come in because he's a rival. So as long as he's doing well... Um, all of his troops can walk clean through the Empire and uh, help us against the Ottomans, hopefully. Beautiful event, man. This is a Hungarian event as well, it seems. Beautiful. I mean, 100 admin. Topping off our prestige. What is there not to love? Yearly prestige modifier tax modifier yes please we need that beautiful 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 tax life's good in the hood 
Uh, War scores getting up there with Poland. Now, are we making any gains against the Scandinavians? We're totally not, unfortunately, but that's okay. Can't have him siege down our capital city. It's our first loan in a long time since the early game. So we should be able to siege down this capital really quick, fast, and in a hurry with five cannons and a two siege general, considering the fact that... Uh, that um, it's a fort level one, starting at 7%. Beautiful. Okay, Aragon's finally out. 11 favors. That's a lot of favors. Naples expanded dramatically. Lol. Uh, I predict Aragon is invalid rival now. Ton of favors with France. A ton of favors with France. That can't be a bad thing. Can it? What the f- What the f- Nuremberg, how dare you, my Nur Nurembergers, um, we gotta make a free city, um, okay, doing good on free cities, well enough, doing well enough on free cities, for now, that's a problem, uh, we're gonna go walk out there, if somebody comes across these forts, I'll be a little bit mad, but we can't we can't allow this to continue pest. If the city of the world, the center of the world, is being sieged down, un unaccepté, les bleu. Oh god damn it! Well, I said I'll be mad, and I am mad. But there we go. We cannot allow him to progress like this in the capital of the world, the capital of the empire. Now. Checking up to uh, Tech 9 should be tre ch cheaper because of our 100% power. Uh, sorry, Spy Network in the Ottomans, as he is a little bit ahead of us. But also, uh, it, it tells us what's going on if he's going to declare war, which I really like because our Spy Network is so high. Um, going to siege up everything I can here from Aragon. Only two provinces, that's fine. Our aggressive expansion is so high that, you know, two works. It's no problem. Speaking of aggressive expansion, let's make sure to... Yeah, dude. Top off these favors, man. Top it off. Because we're just under 50. Thankfully, there's no more coalition by the looks of things. No more coalition, but I'm intending to fully annex Bosnia, like, fairly soon. That's what I intend to do. And uh, we're about to peace out Poland, I think, depending on how much Moldavia actually costs. Plus one to rolls, I love it, dude. No stickity stack wipe that time. Um, consolidate our infantry. We should be making tons of uh, papal influence nowadays because of um, the religious ideas. Especially if we're converting provinces up as well. Which is really good. Because the modifier, like the manpower modifier, the, the, um, the reputation... It's going to really help us. There we go. Not right about that Diplo. So it's going to cost quite quite a lot. We've got a Diplo slot free for the Moldavia. Uh, he's done some converting of his provinces. Um, okay. What is the quickest way to get war score here? Let's review this really quick. Going to take him as a subject. Not the worst in terms of aggressive expansion. Uh... We're taking money from him, which is fairly important, right? And annulling his treaty, releasing the Teutonic Order. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. Um, Denmark is not medium, but I bet that'd be close to medium. Oh my god. St stickity, stickity, stack wiper, renoed. I said we didn't stack wipe him that time, but somehow his uh, maneuverability was garbage. Retreated to here. Got him, coach. Um, yeah, why don't we go up to Denmark? Denmark's got quite some war exhaustion, and so do his subjects. If we can get that fort, it's only fort level 2, with our siege general. Um, maybe we can even break his alliance there. That saves us 10 war score cost from the Polish war. We get the plus 1 roll here. 
against the poor Swedes. And the stack wipe. Lol. I feel naughty, guys. Like, the Magia is just so strong. It's unbelievable. I reckon there's some nerfs coming down the pike, personally. Do some cheek development in our cloth producing provinces. Um, yeah, I don't think that Hungary will be so strong in the future. Like, I think a dynamic will shift a little bit, but a lot of the way that he is so strong is because of the way that we're playing him, like going for the Empire and stuff. But um, yeah, I don't think they intend Hungary to be this strong. It's just madness. Like, one of their weaknesses is, like, their lack of development. And because of our Monarch points, like, our development in our country is going to end up being huge. At least they're planning for it to be. No, our guy was found. Our spy. In uh, the Ottoman lands. So Naples is suddenly a bit stronger once again. He might pull a cheeky ally, but we will see. And uh, one other thing I want to do is pass this before we get some aggressive expansion and overextension. And that's going to um, give us the Diplo rep and the extra Diplomat. We can always do a Diplomats in the early game. Um, we're going to be up to 5. And funnily enough, we're going to end up having 6 when I take this. It's pretty much like overkill Diplomats. But, uh... No big deal. Everybody likes a... Uh, a Diplo mat every now and then. Alrighty. People expanding into Scandinavia. And we're getting some war score. Uh, his enthusiasm is waning. Sweet. I feel like we'll be able to... Ah, no, my little guy. Damn it. Um, war exhaustion is getting quite high. Let's reduce that. So free. This is unbelievable. Feels great. Feels great, man. Okay, improve relations with Pomerania for Imperial Authority. Done. Done, 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 done. Uh, I'm going to swing back in a moment and defend Warsaw. It is Fort Level 1. They could siege that up quickly. Got to go take that out. But yeah, if this ticks over, maybe that will be enough to... Uh, Annul Denmark's alliance with Poland, and that will make the peace out of him much cheaper. Um, yeah, we're going to try, you know, we're, we're consolidating our infantry as we go, having fewer and fewer forces manned, and uh, trying to have a bit more of a profitable economy. Definitely the war reparations from Poland will be worth a lot. I'm confident of that. Uh, but out to Warsaw we go once again. To defend it. Leaving this guy hanging a little bit, but I think he's going to be okay. And uh, it's about time that we, we be at peace, man. We've been at war for a while. Our allies did a good job. Proud of you boys. Gonna go get this occupation to Brandenburg in case that we can afford. Ah oh, man. Okay. It's definitely cheaper to, to go the stability loss route, eighty three. Instead of you know the inflation, we could either deal with the inflation, which is not a big deal, or. Uh, you know, but like I'd prefer it to be low, or it would cost like. More, a little bit more admin. That's fine. We're doing the worst on admin, but we're doing bloody well, if I do say so myself. That's some truly epic rushing of religious ideas where we're not even worried about unbalanced research yet. If we ticked up, we'd still be good, right? Truly epic rushing. It was a rush of truly epic proportions. We rushed a fool. Yeah, I'm hoping if we free up the war score for this, by piecing out the Scandinavians, that we could like give that to Brandenburg, for instance. I'd like to give that to Brandenburg. 
We are not feeding our allies at all with this peace offer. Um, we are releasing the Teutonic Order. It could be argued that it's a bit of a waste of war score. Uh, but it wouldn't be a waste if he joined the Empire. Because remember guys that if they add their provinces, you get the, the Imperial Authority. We can see here that Pomerania hasn't even added all of his. The cheeky booger. He needs to feel like he's under some kind of threat to actually add them. Uh, I'm really looking forward to piecing out though. This has been a long time in the making, this war. And uh, how do you feel, Denmark? Oh, he will piece out. Excellent. Just needs a little bit more motivation. Great. Shoot. Did we just get capped that month? I think we did. You guys get so mad at me when I waste monarch points like that, and uh, understandably. Alrighty, tons of war school here. Let's go give this occupation back once again to Brandenburg. And uh, piecing this guy out is going to give us some war score, even though we have an occupation, I think. Because of all his different forts, which are unoccupied. Mission completed. That's what I like, his nice, smooth, decisive, completed missions. Aragon is still a Val rival, interestingly. And uh, we're about to get some Diplo and Prestige reward from improving relations with Castile. Something that we actually don't need, quite frankly. But uh, better than nothing. Again, a really nice problem to have just being rolling in the Monarch points and Captain Prestige. That's the kind of problem that I like. Alrighty, severed their relations and um, that creates a short truce time, you know, short-ish, rather than doing it this way, so that we can do an Imperial ban war against Denmark, hopefully, um, you know, relatively soon, get Holsten on the map. And, uh, yeah, weaken him, maybe Holston or, or another nation like that will expand into Scandinavia in the future self-autonomously. We will see. That would be cool. But either way, it is finally time to be at peace. Uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to take our subject, which will give us some money, which is nice. Take the war operations, which is nice. Release the Teutonic Order. Pretty significant weakening to them, I would say. And we can give that to the Brander base. Let's do it. Um, wow, we can 100% him. Okay, I was going to take some money. It's going to be shared between our allies. Um, forget money. Let's feed it to the Empire. That's 100%. So that's perfect. 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 Are they no longer a valid rival? <laughs> oh my goodness. If they're no longer a valid rival, that's like straight pwnage. That's almost disrespectfully pwned, to be honest. We'll see next month. Nope, they are. He just changed his rivalry. He's like, screw you, Bohemia. Alrighty, good stuff. Hopefully in due time the Tudin joins, um, but either way he might just be uh, gobbled up by Pomerania. Same effect. So uh, have happy with that. We, Of course, again to reiterate, we want these three powers to uh, self-autonomously expand into Eastern Europe in the future and integrate them for free. That's the whole idea at the moment. Economy is not looking too high. Um, let's... I'm going to wait for this to be 4.9 in two months. And then we're going to add one province to the Empire. Yay, Moldavia is friendly with us right off the bat. Our extreme prowess of liberty desire. He, he, ain't, he ain't bothered. He ain't bothered. So how much money do you give us per month? 0 0.78. Pretty good. Almost a ducat from Moldavia. And I'll be integrating him pretty much as soon as possible. He is a partially accepted culture of Romanian, which is kind of weird. Because Hungarians and Romanians don't get along. But who knows? Maybe they did back in the days. Maybe they did back in the days. They certainly don't now, however. Um, not so much. Um, because Romanians are complete scumbags who stole half of our country. Am I right, guys? Am I right? I'm definitely right. 
definitely right. There's only one side to that argument, that's for sure, you damn Romanian bastards. I love you guys if you're watching, that was just a joke. Just kidding. Um, let's go in against the, uh, the Bosnians. I'll allow my war exhaustion to reduce a little bit. And uh, it will actually tell us. We can see the Ottomans are at war currently. And it will give us a warning before they go in against Bosnia. So going to chill a little bit here. Allow our aggressive expansion to go down some more. And uh, then we're going to go pretty much for the full annexation of Bosnia. Uh, that would be sweet. Doing good on our power projection. And uh, yeah, we should be using our diplomat in the meantime, like maxing our relation with the Pope for that uh, that papal influence. Um, turn in our army maintenance down while we're stable. Make some money. And uh, we've got one loan. We've got one loan, but that's going to be okay. Alrighty. Let us add a single province to the empire. Is there any strategic province that can be added? I don't think so. Don't think. I think it's inconsequential either way. Looks like it. So uh, let's continue adding Italy. He 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 he. And another diplomat and papal uh, reputation, uh, diplo reputation, even further solidifying the dominance of the empire. Why are you voting for yourself, Bohemia? Why do you think you're so hot, Bohemia? Sweet. Did we do it, guys? Did we have a good game? I think we had a good game. Really enjoying this. It's going to be a long road to a one tag. But I think if there's any game where you can do it, it's this one, quite frankly. We're going to do it. So I'm saving some money while we're at peace here. I'll keep these troops up. Not gonna just get rid of our troops. Holy crap, our mil um, infantry composition is garbage. I think I'll only use one stack to engage against um, the Bosnians, and the other can just stay in the flank and, and siege down because that military, the, the infantry composition is garbage there. We can't go over 50% cav, that's just ridiculous. Um, that will do us nicely, and uh, hopefully, kind of sit at some. Uh, yeah, look at that. France will help us. Yes! Feels so good, man. France will help us in the future against the Ottomans. That feels so good. Yes! Yes! And uh, hopefully Muscovy will help us soon as well. We'll see. I've got a feeling he would with time as he creeps closer and closer. He's going to... Um, he, look at that. Look at that. He desires this province, like directly bordering them. Just gets a little bit closer. He's going to be like, let's kill the Ottoman. Alrighty. Awesome. I'm going to let the month go by and see how we stand. Yeah, you see a little bit of the votes flipped around here because we lost all of that papal authority. I should throw a diplomat in Mainz and Brandenburg. Uh, but as long as we're being voted for, we're being voted for life's good in the hood. Lorraine's doing some cheeky business. Oi! Oi, you! No! Ah, uh, province is uh, gone. There goes province's uh, core. Bar is on the map. But that's okay, because um, we're going to attack... The French power, if we don't PU France, is going to be Burgundy, not province. So that's okay. Releases uh, this dude, and he's got a bunch of core to be had, which gives us no aggressive expansion when we, when we attack his face. Brilliant, love it. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. This is sick. Basically, upcoming moves. We're gonna fully annex Bosnia and uh, do some southern Italian stuff as well. But aggressive expansion is a big limitation. In the future, we're gonna be uh, doing an imperial ban war against uh, Denmark, wrecking his face. And uh, in the future, also just smashing Poland, like no big deal. But it's going to really come down to whether we can take a decisive victory over the Ottomans or not. And if we can, um, that's really going to be the last thing I can in the foreseeable future that is actually going to pose a challenge. Like I think a, a future war against Poland, uh, we'll have to see what happens by the time our truce is up, but it could be quite 
trivial, even though he is, you know, a great power and so on, uh, which is pretty sweet. I'm really enjoying this game. I hope you guys are too. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.